Hi everyone, it's Monica. I am back with another pregnancy video update for you guys. Today I am 16 weeks in one day, so I will be going through my 15th week of pregnancy, how it went, my experience, symptoms and all that. Nothing, nothing, nothing crazy like a lot of changes, but there's a bit of changes. So, um, and also, um, I did mention um, in my last video that um, I went and bought a belly band. So that arrived last week. So I wanted to show you um, guys that and my thoughts about it and how I feel about it and all that. And um, also, guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are pregnant as well, congratulations. And if you want to see how I'm doing with um, my pregnancy, please follow along. Um, subscribe if you want to and also all my pregnancy videos will be linked um, down below so that's easy for you for you guys to see it you can just click on it if you want to see um, my past pregnancy videos and other pregnancy videos like skincare and all that and what else okay so I have my notes here so if you see me looking down that's because of my notes I don't want to forget anything um, I've noticed with this pregnancy, one thing that I'm not liking is that I've noticed that I've spent more money on maternity stuff um, compared with my first pregnancy. And I believe that's because of me showing too early and I feel like I'm bigger this time around. Like I feel like my belly seriously right now feels like I'm about 20 weeks pregnant when I'm only 16 weeks right now um, it feels like 20 weeks and I'm comparing it with my first pregnancy but again like every pregnancy is different and I mean it could be true that you know the second time around you'll show a lot sooner because what they say is like your uterus, your uterus already um, have stretched so it's like you know you get pregnant again it's like your body remembers oh yeah this is what we do so doesn't have to try too hard and it's like boom <laughs> all right okay so let's start with sleep sleep is okay no complaints about there um sleep is good and again i still you know like i hardly have to use the uh, washroom now to go to pee in like middle of the night so that's a plus and what else so sleep wise like i feel like not i feel but i tend to lie more comfortably on my left side rather than the right like um sometimes i switch it up but i notice that i could say um being on my left side a lot a lot longer rather than on my right side um nausea i've known i've already mentioned that with my past videos that on the 12 week um, mark a little bit on the 11th um, it started going away and now I am good I don't feel that anymore unless I'm super super hungry um, but so far none of that um, nausea like the first trimester that it's just like a nasty symptom so really really thankful for that um, and actually, um, it was, we just had um, Thanksgiving here in Canada, so I'm just like, I was just very thankful because yesterday um, I cooked for the family. There's only the three of us, like me, Terry, and our toddler, which is, um, who is three and a half, and I was able to cook, so um, I'm really happy about that because I was just thinking like if this around this time like a holiday or anything like that when I would usually cook and I prefer to cook rather than going out um, if this was my first trimester there was no way I'd be able to do that like I would probably convince um, my family to just like hey you know what let's just go out because um, I don't feel like cooking so uh, yeah that's like one thing like that I'm really thankful for is that you know like no more food aversions for me so yeah thank god because I do love my food um all right so uh, cravings as far as craving goes nothing new I feel like I still am leaning towards um like salty 
food and more like on the like a little bit of sour salty um sweets we had some apple pie for our thanksgiving apple pie with like vanilla ice cream that was good um but again to me it's just like standard nothing that's like oh my god like this is super satisfying um i find more satisfaction on um eating salty and sour foods um meat um i wouldn't say i crave a lot of meat but i just notice that every day i eat meat compared to um definitely before this pregnancy i probably would eat meat like maybe two to three times a week and then i would alternate it with like eggs um but with this pregnancy it's almost like every day i have to eat meat but it's not like a craving i can't explain it it's not like a craving like oh my god like i really want this but i just feel like somehow i need it but yeah not really sure what that means um and then liquids liquids so i still drink um water here and there i would have coffee lately i have been enjoying a tea latte so i have i've bought some decaf tea here and there i would have like a regular but obviously nothing more than one cup a day and then i'll just use either um milk or like regular milk or sometimes almond milk if we have it so that's one thing i've been really enjoying in the morning um vitamins i still take vitamins so um, i've been meaning to show you guys but this is what it looks like um i took this when i was um during my first pregnancy and i really like it i've tried other ones um not other one I, i've tried another brand but it was a lot bigger than this and this one is not bad um the size is it's fairly small and i take it again um with my last meal of the day um i'm just used to that because with my first i'm um, during my first trimester i felt like um taking my prenatal during the day especially when um i would use a, a different when i would take a different brand i felt like it contributed to my nausea so i like to take it in the evening i just got used to that um just because just in case i don't feel good after like i feel like vomiting or anything like that at least it's like at night time i know i'm not going anywhere or i can just lie down things like that and then along with this Along with this, my doctor suggested for me to take um, vitamin D, um, 2000 IU. So this is like a thousand um, international units for, um, for or per pill. So I take two of them. Sorry, I was distracted there for a little bit. My toddler just needed something and I had to attend to her and anyway that's all good um so yeah my doctor suggested to take um 2000 international units um especially during fall and winter time um he suggested that because he said that if you're a little bit on um if you have a little bit of a darker skin tone um it is a must have vitamin d so I take this along with this I try to take one in the morning and then one at night um, and then yeah, night time. Okay, so that's for vitamins. Um, so acne lately, lately it's been good. Um, beginning of my second trimester, I broke out a little bit um, and then now it's I feel like knock on wood, but I feel like my skin's been doing good. So hopefully it stays that way and energy energy is a pretty good like during the day in the morning afternoon but around 5 6 p.m i just feel so so beat like i feel like i'm done for the day it's like and um i even have moments where like midday i would feel like exhausted but then it wouldn't last but definitely around 5 to 6 p.m is when i feel like okay i'm ready for bed but obviously like that's too early for bed but just you know my mentality and physically i'm like checked out like for the day um so that's one thing i've noticed but 
I gotta say guys like I would take that any day um, versus um, the nausea and food aversion so even though like you know it's a downside that I'm tired like that quickly I could still I could handle that versus the nausea and food aversions that I had in my first trimester and then what else um, Oh, so I, I forgot to mention, I mean, if you are pregnant like me, obviously you probably have an app and the baby is now a size of a pear. That's crazy. And that's about 3.98 inches. So about almost like um, four inches from crown to rump. And also, oh, another, um, another um, big thing that I've noticed that um, lately, I have been content actually of just eating three meals a day and snacking in between. So like one in the morning, lunch, and then evening, just like before getting pregnant. So I'm really, really happy about that guys because during my first trimester, I ate, say I woke up at six, I would, I would eat at 8 a.m., 11, 2, like these are me meals, not snacks. 8, 11, 2, and then about 5.30. And then in between all of those, I snacked. Like I was snacking in between. So that's like four meals a day and then snacking in between. That's how I felt like, how, not just the hunger, it's more like, if I don't eat every two to three hours on the dot, like I would just feel this wave of nausea. And lately I've noticed that, oh, hey, I've only been eating like three times a day, which is good because I don't really need that extra calories. I mean, because for like with every meal that I'm consuming, I feel like I'm already eating a lot, you know? So I eat three times a day now um, and then um, snacking in between so like I would either have um, a fruit or a smoothie or like just just whatever like whatever I can find here like maybe a, a toast and um, some fig and yeah and what else and then hair growth I've noticed that I've noticed that my hair has been um, growing like crazy lately which I'm so happy about because I have been trying to grow my hair for some time now because I want to get a bob um, cut um, but I didn't want it to be too short because my hair is like the way it's cut it's like layered here and I want to get rid of those layers but it's like almost like from back to front is like that so I want it to wait a little bit longer I don't want it to be like you know like still too short but so I'm happy about this so I think in the next um, week or two I'm gonna get that cut that I want okay now okay I'm gonna show you guys the belly band so the belly band that I got online um, the, I'm not affiliated with them or anything um, they um, I just basically found them online. I like to look um, online like for reviews, compare prices and all that. So this one is by Bravado Designs and it says belly and back. This is what it looks like. I got the black one. Belly and back multi-zone pregnancy support um, band. And then what else does it say? So I got the small size. Um, if you go to their website, it'll tell you what size you should pick. Um, so my size is between four to six. I'm a size four um, with um, jeans and stuff. Um, so that would be a small. So I went to their website, but I didn't buy it there because I found it cheaper at well.ca so um, I can put in the link down below if you guys are interested and so my thoughts on this um, I'll show you guys I'm, I'm wearing it right now I'll, I'll be showing you guys in a bit 
my thoughts regarding this is it's really good for support the only downside to it is that it's almost like made for women that has um that have long torso and i'm the opposite i have like i'm all like i'm like i just have like short torso and i feel like that's also why i'm showing like i'm bigger than i should be just because i have a very short torso so i feel like where else could the baby go so it's like out so i'll show you guys it so so this is what it looks like right this is what it looks like so you see how this is so long like i feel like this is so long it's almost like a skirt so but i like it because of the compression that it offers that it does because you can see here that is compressed this is the only part that's not which totally makes sense this part is compressed this part is compressed in the back and so i just have to pull it way down another advantage of this um is that i feel like when i'm wearing i'm wearing my old um jeans and it's not high-waisted or anything which i can't wear now because obviously my belly is getting bigger but um i feel like when i'm wearing this um it gives me a little bit of security like with my jeans like not feeling like oh my god like is it like you know like falling off or sliding off not falling off but like sliding off because um you know it sits low on the waist so when i'm wearing this belly band i feel like because it's so tight um not like tight that it hurts but just you know just uh, it's a good tight um then i feel like it's kind of um keeping my pants where it should be and price point so when i went to their website i think it's about like 30 plus canadian dollars maybe um maybe close to 40 dollars canadian and then when i went to well.ca i don't know now if it's still on sale on well.ca it was 36 something dollars and it was on sale for 26 dollars so that was really that was a pretty good deal because i know um if i mentioned before with my first pregnancy i was also wearing a belly band from walmart it was only ten dollars although it was good and it helped um a little bit it was just a band it doesn't have compression on it so for a belly band to have a compression guys if you've heard of like compression stockings you know how expensive they can be they're not just like regular socks um they're not just like regular socks like with compression like it's so much more usually it's more expensive so for me to get this for like 26 dollars i'm really happy because it does have um compression it comes with white or sorry um the yeah, other colors is white and black and i got the black one and what else do i yeah so yeah so i do recommend this one um if you're looking for a belly band um the one the one um the walmart one that i got with my first pregnancy it also helped it's not as it's not like a full panel like this it's not like a full band it's more like just up to here kind of it helped me a little bit but because there's no compression after 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 a few months i felt like it just loosened up you know and it didn't feel that it was offering me that support that i needed um during my third trimester with my first pregnancy so that's that and then what else um so yeah i guess usually i do the belly shot last but i guess i just showed you my belly so that is it for today you guys if you have any questions for me that just leave it on the comment section down below and um yeah if you have um 
you know, if you're going through the same symptoms or if you're not, you know, let me know like how my other co-pregos are doing. I'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't done so, guys, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button over here so you get a notification each time I post a new video up. And again, all my pregnancy videos will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.